Welcome to our room in Killarney, International International Hotel Killarney. Fun bathroom. Cool. <laughs> I'm mainly doing this for my mom because she'll be like, "What did the room look like?" I know, I do that too. <laughs> All the food we unfortunately didn't get enough time to eat on our stupid tour. Stupid tour. Our view is absolutely bloody lovely. And look, the door is open, which feel amazing. Although we only discovered that the door is just opened, like now. Four star pizza. Oh, bleeding hell, that actually moves. Look at that. All right. Anyway, here's the little horses go by in the morning. This is the ghetto room tour. Peter, important. some donuts at Celtic Donuts which is literally like brand new like they just opened like last week brand new like they still don't have their credit card machine and they're I it, like there was a sign it was like iced coffees and teas and I was like perfect I'm gonna get iced coffee coming soon <laughs> I was like amazing so um but yeah they just opened so we're gonna try their donuts and then we went to underground which is like another little coffee shop cafe thing with like lunch and got some takeaway stuff. It would've been nice to sit down in there because it was cute, but we like, our train leaves in an hour, so we were like, we should probably just go back and whatever. And we were like searching in a bookstore forever. We found Outlander, like in book form. And I was like, I have to find Stephen Bonnet's name in Ireland. Um, so we spent like half an hour looking for Stephen and then we found him. <laughs> so that was exciting. <laughs> so now we're sitting in like a lounge at the hotel, which is weird because the room we're in used to have a pool table so there's like all this area, just like grand. This room that we're in used to be just like a pool table. So when we walked in, I was like really thrown off. I was like, what's happening? Where's, what? But yeah, so there's lots more furniture in here now. But we're gonna sit and like, I guess try our donuts or whatever, finish our coffees. And then back to the train station we go for a four hour ride back to Dublin. <laughs> which is gonna be a while, but it's like scenic. So that's nice, I guess. I'd love for the train to not be busy, but it probably will be, so. Wish us luck. We're sad. I mean, next leg of our adventure is Dublin, so. But sad we're leaving Killarney. I'm like, I'll be back, hopefully in less than two years, because I don't want to wait another two years. But, we're sad. My mom's texting. She's like, you've been there three times. Yeah, my family. There's only one platform here. <laughs> yeah, my family's only only been here once. I've been here more than them. So thanks, Killarney. You've been fun as usual, and I'm gonna miss you. It was it was great. It was fun. Busier than last we time, but good. We did. Again. We pretty much did everything we wanted to do, which is good. We've been doing good so far. Yeah. And last leg of the trip now, so. I'm so sad. I'm so pissed. <laughs> yeah, okay. We'll see you on the train or in Dublin or whenever the hell I feel like vlogging again because we're just like continuously tired. It's just a state of being now, literally. So, yeah. <laughs>
in Dublin. Yeah, we're in Dublin for the next three nights. Tonight we have dinner at a fancy restaurant, so I'm not gonna vlog that because fancy and I'm not gonna be that person. Um, tomorrow we have another tour, so God bless us, help us. We're going to Cliffs of Moher. Is that the Book of Kills? Um, and then Sunday we're gonna like hang out in Dublin and do some sightseeing. And it's gonna be St. Patrick's Day, so it'll give us strength. And we have to edit that. Um, oh God. Yeah, that's the plan tonight. We're gonna watch Ed Spleer's new movie because it came out on iTunes today and I'm so excited. I'm so excited. It's probably, it actually looks relatively decent. I think he has a relatively decent role in this. So I'm so excited to see my mans in action. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do a little room tour. We're staying at the Green Hotel right by St. Stephen's Green. So, you know, we're continuing our Outlander theme here. Staying at St. Stephen's Green like Stephen Bonnet. Um, yeah, so that, that one's a stretch, but it's fine. We're saying it's the Green Hotel, and we're like 10 minutes away from where we're having dinner tonight, and we're like 15, 20-ish from kind of like every, like Temple Bar area, Grafton Street, Trinity College, kind of like actually the best area of the town. So that's not too bad, so that's great. And there's I think there's a Starbucks near us as well. Oh, I saw it on the map. So, Amazing. things are good. We have an espresso in here, though. But that'll be in the room tour. I'm going to do the room tour real quick. Okay. Fulcha to our room. It's literally huge. Um, you can, like, kind of hear an echo. Heating is central, so we can't We're change it. We're going to die. We're going to literally freeze. It's so cold in here. We're going to freeze. It's because it's so big. Yeah. Like, the room's so big. It's like, true. Anna central. Anyway, we got an espresso. And this is even fancier than the espresso we have in my house. Maybe it's not. I mean, it's literally the same damn thing. They do the same thing, but um, the design's different. And little Nespresso things that we're defo trying. Me. Closet. Ooh, do I hear the heat? It turns probably turns off and on. That's what my old one used to do. Um, that's what my one does now. That's what it does. This is the room. It's literally huge. Did it turn on? Dang. Celsius. <laughs> I don't know, but it's warm. Great. That's what I turned it to. This is our view. Little rooftop. Maybe they just like, Dublin -y. Maybe it... Our bathroom. Oh, now, our bathroom in Edinburgh was really, really nice. This one's also really, really nice. Again, with the half glass shower. Like, no one can splurge on a full glass for their shower. But, um, ooh, rain shower. Ugh. I love. Didn't yeah. we have a rain shower in Edinburgh? Yeah, we did. Yeah, oh, we've been living. Um, yeah, so this is the bathroom. Again, super, super nice. The bathroom in Colonia is also very nice, but this one's like, yeah, they were all nice. This one's just like very modernized, which is cool. And yeah, that's our room. Enjoy, we're gonna enjoy ourselves. There's also an old phone here. There is. That I'm living I have a phone like that in my room. But it actually works, so. We, we left right out of bed. Yeah, we freaking, I set my alarm for nine, and I woke up like a minute before it went off, but then I checked it and it was still nine, because I thought our tour, we have another tour, we had another tour today. I thought it was gonna be at 1045, because it's with the Paddy Wagon Company, and our tour in Killarney with them was also at 1045. So I'm like, okay, if I set my thing for nine, we're good. But it was funny, because last night I had a weird feeling. Like, I just had some sort of, like, feeling that something was gonna happen with like getting to this tour but I was like no we'll be fine I'll set an alarm and we were out so freaking late at the restaurant God, they took so long with our bill again it was I was an asshole yeah our waiter was like he's like oh two young girls they're not gonna tip well so I'm just not gonna like take care of them yeah. so anyway we, and then we were like trying to watch the movie last night because we wanted to and yeah that did was not fine. get through it that, yeah, yeah. just like gave up after a while Literally it's fell asleep. Though. It's for love and money. It's Ed Spillier's new go. movie that came out on iTunes. So I was like, we have to watch it because that's my man's. She fell asleep. So, but I, I was like, I totally thought the tour was at 10:45 because like we like di we didn't really talk about it. We, we just yeah. fell asleep. But I was like, we we'll be so fine. We I just, just didn't have time to like talk, sit and talk about it. I had this freaking like. <laughs> time in my head so I'm like okay well she's asleep but I still have my alarm so like we're fine but then we woke up and she's like we're effed 
And I was like, what are you talking about? I like thought, my first thought was like, oh, maybe it leaves at 9.45. Because like, 10.45 is late, like we did the other day. But I was like, oh, maybe That's it leaves at 9.45. And it was 9 o'clock. So I'm like, okay, we're just going to have to haul ass. And then she was like, it's at 8. And I was like, excuse me. Yeah, so we missed our tour, everyone. But Things are going so well. <laughs> however, at least, luckily, I called them because I was like, we can't just spend this money and not, like, do something about this. Like, so I called them and I was like, is there a way to maybe, like, like do tomorrow instead? Which, I mean, tomorrow's St. Patrick's Day and, like, we were going to be in Dublin, like, just walking around and, like, seeing stuff, but... We I just mean, switched them. We just kind of, yeah, we just decided, like, we'll just do that today. We don't have to be in Dublin during the day for the... We're in like, Ireland. St. Patrick's Day. Yeah. Because we don't really care about partying and stuff like that. We're, like, we're not going to be doing much of that, like, until the evening anyway. We might as well get the tour done mm -hmm. tomorrow, too, because we might as well, like, we, we still need to see, like, that stuff. That's, like, important. Yeah. Like, when you come to I Ireland, need to see that so. castle in that freaking Yeah, I was like, that's side. super important, like, to the, be what, the here. The Irish West Coast is the best actual thing you could ever do on a trip to Ireland. Just go to the West Coast. Dublin's great. Stop in Dublin for a minute, but, like, then go just go to the West Coast, because that's amazing. Yeah. But it worked. Thank God it worked. Good and then all. tonight at 7, we're going to, like, a live show. It's... If you watch BuzzFeed videos, it's basically BuzzFeed. It's a YouTube channel called the Try Channel. Um... Cap, like capital T R Y try. It's not the try guys. It's better than that. And um, it's basically an Irish BuzzFeed. They like do stupid things on the videos. They like make them try gross foods and all that kind of stuff. And they're doing like a live show tonight. So and we were like so because I've been watching that channel for like years, but we were upset that like we weren't gonna be able to do that today because we'd be on our tour and our tour doesn't get back till eight. <clears throat> but we're like, oh maybe we could even try to go late. But it actually works out today, so I just got tickets for that. So we're going to that. So that should be cool. Yay. So yeah. At least it worked out. And we're like ten minutes I'm from to rest right now. I know. I like can't. We need to chill. I'm like, oh my god. Anyway. We're like gonna probably grab some like breakfast and stuff, and then ha like have a walk around Dublin, Trinity College, and stuff. Yay. Should be fun. So yeah. Welcome. On Rain Street, Madison, we're actually doing something Disney right now. We're in the Disney store on Grafton Street in old Dublin town, and they're playing Descendants on the speakers. So I feel like this was a good time to start the vlog. So yeah, as I said earlier, we missed our tour, so we're just gonna kinda like walk around Dublin, do Dublin things today. Um, so excited to go back over to Trinity College and going to see probably St. Patrick's Cathedral and the church that my sixth great-grandfather was baptized in. <laughs> so that'll be fun. But I just thought I'd let you know that we're in the Disney store. Because duh. You have me down and you're holding me up. For joy and as you go away. God takes you back. You say hallelujah. To see the person I have become, spread your wings as you go. My God takes you back. You sing hallelujah. Street. She finally got her cloud ring, and it's literally so gorgeous. I'm like really freaking jealous. Got some clothes, and ow, just hurt myself. Ow, ow. Got stuff in Jack Wills, and now we're walking around Trinity College. I feel like I'm like I got married. He got married. I got engaged. <laughs> it's literally so pretty. I was like, this is like when you go birthday shopping for your friend's party, and like you have to buy them something, and then you're just looking at their present, and like, wow, I want something. We're not taking a tour of Trinity College today. Um, it's like 15 euro and 
I took one last time and I mean, you get to see the Book of Kells at the end but like I don't know if the Book of Kells is worth 15 euro but anyway we're in, num we're in front of number 18 dormitory across from us where people play in sports last time on my tour they had told us that number 18 was Oscar Wilde's old dorm this school's from like it was founded in 1592 I think I said um, so yeah and people still like live in his dorm like this is actually their dorm room they give it out to students, so that's super cool, fun little fact so for you there. <laughs> pronounce it I'm so sorry but my sixth fifth sixth fifth great-grandfather was baptized here um, in 1795 Daniel Maloney or not sorry not Daniel Maloney, Daniel O'Hara to Hennessy and Sarah O'Hara Hennessy and Sarah O'Hara yeah my like ancestry is like all over the place but like it's sadly it's not open to go into but like, I don't know, this is so cool. Like I can't get it through my head that like 300 years ago, like this is pretty much except for some other family member, I can't remember think of who right now. In 1790, I was able to trace them back, but 1795 is pretty freaking far. And there was a point where I just thought I wouldn't be able to trace my family back that far ever. So to be here is like, I know it sounds like probably weird but like this is so cool to me like to think that like I'm in the same place that like my distant 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 family was like and had you know Hennessy and Sarah O'Hara never got married I probably wouldn't be here right now which is like crazy because it's so far down the line but like this is so cool like I like love like ancestry and ethnicity and all that kind of stuff so this is like amazing to be here like yeah they were distant 300 years ago and it was on my mom's side of the family but you know just the fact like it's absolutely crazy and it's a beautiful church on the outside it's very small compared to some of the other churches but I love it the sun's out oh my god the sun's out I, I said can't even I don't even understand. It's because we're at this church. It said this is like when Moana's ancestors sang to her. I'm being dumb, but the sun is out and it's really freaking nice right now. I have been in this church. I've literally been getting so confused because there's like 50 churches in this area. Yeah. Like there's so many. I have been in this one. It's really cute though. I'll insert pictures from last time I was actually in this church. It's really cute and cozy inside. Need to, oh, that's the only way out. Yeah. Okay. See you Crazy. Crazy. <laughs>
actually. It's like 5.30. Unfortunately, we couldn't get into St. Patrick's because it, the line was like absolutely unbelievable. We were like, literally no. Like it's beautiful, but like, I don't know. Like, like I've been in there and like it's, it's beautiful, but it's not worth it to waste time, yeah. So we're just heading back because we have that event tonight.